grace and apostleship. Not only grace, because there are churches that boast of grace, but they don't have an apostle. These two go hand in hand, one without the other, don't function. Therefore, Romans chapter 1, verse 5 says, Through him we have received grace and apostleship for obedience of the faith amongst all nations for the love of his name. Not for anything you d desire, but for the love of his name. So therefore, we can see here that the apostle says, truly, the only one that received this revelation was Paul. There's a version that says, through whom I received grace and apostleship. So if you search out these things and discern them properly, the only apostle that received this message was the apostle Paul. Then there were others that were discipled by him that preached the gospel of grace. But the only one that received this message was the Apostle Paul. Peter, John, James, none of the apostles of Jesus Christ understood the gospel that was given to the Apostle Paul. They received a different gospel. They had the gospel of circumcision. And Paul says that that gospel subverts entire households. So therefore... They have reckless prophets because they preach the wrong gospel. All the religions preach the gospel of circumcision. So all the offerings and millions of dollars that the Vatican receives, the evangelicals, all of that is reckless prophets because truly the honest thing to do is to sow seed to a church that preaches the gospel of uncircumcision. That is very important that you understand this because that is what will save you. So therefore it says here that it was for the obedience of faith amongst all nations. What was given to the Apostle Paul was for all the nations because this is the only gospel that brings happiness, the only gospel that comes to save as we're going to read further down. Yeah, and uh, it says that it is for the love of his name, for the love of the name of Jesus of Nazareth that gave his life and shed his blood to prepare this gospel so that faith can be of substance. After he died and resurrected from the dead, then this gospel became valid. But the apostles, as I said before, they plotted his death. And they killed him, according to the book of Acts chapter 23. It registered that the elders of Jerusalem plotted his death. So he don't speak the gospel of truth because they didn't understand.